Hello children, I am your English ma'am speaking. Children, in the previous session, we have learned the poem from a cat's eyes. Today, we are going to learn the remaining part of the poem. Come on children, shall we start our session? There, now go and call her and stroke her again and never, my love, give poor animals pain. So, the poet is advising Harry, go and call her, stroke her. What is the meaning for stroke? Gentle touch. And never, my love, give poor animals pain. So, the poet is telling, don't hurt the animals. Don't hurt your pets. So, if you are hurt, it feel really pain. For you know, when you hurt them, they cannot complain. Here, Whatever harm you are doing to your pet, they cannot complain to anyone because she loves you only. So, take care of your pet. So, the poet is advising Harry, take care of your pets and never hurt her so this is the good message today we learn from this poem children now we are going to see the meanings of this poem amazingly amazingly causing great surprise or wonder Exceedingly. Come on children. Repeat these words. Exceedingly. Extremely or not to a great extent. Tame. Tame. Which means domesticated or well trained. Earnest. Sincere. What is the meaning for earnest? Sincere. Stroke. Gentle touch. Touch your pet gently. So, now we have learned the meanings. Hope you all understand this clearly. Now, let me have a quick recap of this poem. Harry be good. Oh Harry, my dear, do not kick the poor cat. For Pushy, I am sure, will not thank you for that. She was doing no harm as he sat on the mat. Suppose some great Jane amazingly strong. So, the meaning for amazingly, causing great surprise or wonder. Now, we have the rhyming words of this poem. Children, do you know what is a rhyming word? Rhyming words are two or more words that have the same or similar ending sound. Now you can see this. Cat, mat, strong, wrong, blame, same, way, play, pain, again. So children, you can repeat these words after me. Cat. Mat. 
strong wrong blame same way play pain again children hope you all understand this rhyming words okay next we have our recap where to kick you repeatedly and push you along would you not think it exceedingly wrong and harry i think your has greatly to blame when you serve poor pushy exactly the same for she's very gentle and quiet and tame she is under the table quiet out of your way she takes it in earnest if you think it play but why should you tease her and drive her away dad now go and call her and stroke her again and never my love you poor animals pain for you know when you hurt them they cannot complain so my dear children hope you all repeating after me and understand this poem now here is a questions cats use their whiskers to check if they can fit through a space so the cat uses their whisker and check it can able to fit for that place now a group of cats is called a cloud so it is a collective noun cloud now what message we have learned from this poem children only one message we should not hurt animals we should take good care of them so that is a beautiful message we can get from this poem now we have a quick recap of word ball dear pushy thank you harm amazingly strong jaint pushy hurt come on children repeat the words after me dear d e a r dear pushy p u s s y pushy thank you t h a n k y o u thank you harm h a r m harm amazingly a m a z i n g l y amazingly strong s t r o n g strong jaint g i a n t jaint push p u s h push hurt h u r t hurt exceedingly e x c e e d i n g l y exceedingly blame b l a m e blame tame t a m e tame quite q u i t e quite 
earnest e a r n e s t earnest stroke s t r o k e stroke low l o v e low pain p a i n pain tease t e a s e tease so dear children read this words at your home and write it in your notebooks also again we can repeat the words children are you ready come on children repeat after me dear pushy thank you harm amazingly strong jaint push hurt exceedingly blame tame quite earnest stroke loud pain tease hope you all understand these words and learn the spellings also now we are going to see one activity look deep children here they have asked some questions now you are going to answer for this questions shall we start okay children do you think harry treated his pet cat well do you know the answer children in your point of view is he is he correct here is the answer no harry should not treat his pet like this he treated his pet very badly okay now see the next question so pick two words or phrases from the poem that support your response so we can pick two words from this poem can you guess the words yes this is the answer tease her and drive her away so these are known as phrases it's not like a sentence it is a phrase now next if you were harry's cat how would you feel see the question is asking if you are in the place of harry's pet how do you feel children or you feel really happy you know very well what harry did to his pet let me check your answer i feel very sad i think this may be your answer or i feel very pain so you're thinking now we are going into the question time now you are going to answer for this questions pick out two words from the poem that describe the cat so tell me 
how the cat is described in this poem gentle tame so these are the two words described in this poem next she takes it in earnest if you think it play what do these lines mean here is the answer the cat thinks that harry really wants to play now we can see the next question why does the poet tell harry that he should not trouble the cat do you know the answer for this question here is the answer the poet tells harry not to trouble the cat as they can complain when you hurt them so this is the answer for this question next how does the poet think harry should treat the cat so what is the opinion of the poet in this poem let me see the poet feels that harry should call the cat close to him to pet him and play with him so that is the real thinking of the poet now another one question how did you feel after reading the poem list your emotions here why did you feel this way so after you read this poem what is your emotion do you feel happy children or sad my opinion is i feel very sad next give me a suitable and catchy title for this poem yes meow meow pushy in this poem the pushy feel very sad so i have enter this title children i hope today's session went well whatever you have learned in the session kindly go through it and read it thank you children take care